Shabbat Shalom. This week's Torah portion is called Parshish Shaftim, Judges. The first verse begins, Shaftim v'shoytri v'kol sharecha, judges and police at all of your gates. It's an appropriate portion for three weeks before Rosh Hashanah. Sefi Yitzira says that the gates of a person's body are the person's eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. We have to put judges and police at all of our gates to guard what we take in and what we take out. This is a proper preparation for the high holidays. The Torah portion continues with a very interesting section about taking seats to a city, and one of the things it forbids is cutting down trees. To the point where the Torah says, Ki Adam et is a person that you're fighting with. Is he a tree of the field? Is, he the, tr- is the tree your enemy? God forbid we shouldn't cut down trees. And that's one of the prohibitions of the Torah, not to destroy things wantonly. Okay, we, we have a, there's a mitzvah to pre- preserve the world uh, and, and not to destroy things if it's not necessary. Okay, but what's a deeper teaching here? The, the idea is that a person is in fact like a, tr- like a tree. Just like a tree needs strong roots, a, a trunk and branches, and to, to be able to have branches and fruits, so also a person has to have strong roots. That's our belief in God. The trunk is our connection to the Torah. The fruits and the branches and the fruits, those are the, the mitzvahs and the mice and toivim that we do, what we produce in the world. Okay, the command, okay. Uh, let's go a little bit deeper. What about, if you take a tree and you scratch it, okay? A, a regular tree, a normal tree, it's not going to affect the health of the tree. It's going to stay in that localized place. It's not going to go anywhere. But what happens if you have a sapling or a seed and you sc- scratch that? Even a small scratch will end up having a tree that's deformed. What will come out later will not be perfect. Okay? Same thing with people. If a person has to make some type of a compromise in a Judaism, he has to have a long commute, and he can't study the way he wants. Somebody perhaps in the family is ill and doesn't have the time to go to shul every day. Or, or he, uh, he's in a place where he can't sing his Shabbos songs the way that he wants to because the neighbors are complaining. Okay, that's, he'll survive. You know? He has 40, 30, 40, 50 years of life before that of strength, and it's not going to bother in him in the long term in his Judaism. But what about a child? What about a child who, has to, who lives in, a, in a, an environment that's compromised Jewishly? He sees behavior that's not in the spirit of Judaism. He himself is taught that he doesn't have to be careful about certain things. That behavior is going to, just like the seed of a tree, is going to affect the children for their entire life. That's what the Torah is telling us. Okay, that we, it's, a, it's a lesson about education. We have to take care of our children. We have to protect their environment. If we see that a small change can have a big effect, then we have to go out of our way to have the best possible conditions for our children's education. And certainly, if we see something inappropriate, to fix it right away. May we all be successful. Shabbat Shalom.